As some stakeholders have commended the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, for obeying the appeal court judgment on the configuration of the bimodal voter accreditation system before conducting the governorship and state assembly election. Convener of uh, Speak Out Africa, Kenneth Eze, who made this known at a pre-election briefing in Abuja, noted that the postponement will aid in strengthening Nigeria's democracy. Eze urged Nigerians across the country to ensure their votes are protected as they come out a mass and cast their vote for their candidates come March 18th. Sadly, irregularities, logistic lapses, inadequate trade ad hoc staff, as well as perceived breach of trust on the part of the electoral empire INEC is at the center of discussion today. Obviously, the overall effects of the development is likely to have serious impact on the voter participation, both in the forthcoming political state assembly and other future elections. Just yesterday, the Apico Tribunal ruling on the INEC variant request to reconfigure the bigger beavers in preparation for Group and Interior State Assembly election has made them to reschedule the originally slated 11th March Group and State Assembly election to now March 18, an extension by one week. Surprisingly, most citizens welcomed the judgment in good faith and had no issues with the postponement as it is viewed to be in favor of democracy.